Welcome students, in this module we shall be looking at the concepts of religion and science from different points of debate topics and analyze the same. Throughout history, religion and science have had distinct function in human civilizations. While science has worked to find natural phenomena, advanced understanding and advanced technology, religion has addressed essential issues, offered moral guidance and encouraged a feeling of community. Despite the frequent conflict between the two, there have always been attempts to make peace between them by recognizing their mutual interdependence and contributions to human knowledge and well-being. Due to their dissimilar approaches and justifications, conflicts and tensions between science and religion have frequently arisen. Throughout history, these discrepancies have sparked discussions and difficulties. Faith, revelation and sacred texts are frequently the foundations of religious beliefs. In interpreting and disseminating religious knowledge, religious authority and traditions are crucial. The focus is on spiritual encounters, rituals and moral instruction. Science is based on experiments, methodical observation, empirical data and logical inference. It adheres to a strict procedure of testing hypothesis, gathering evidence and peer review. The emphasis is on critical analysis and the advancement of knowledge through naturalistic explanations. Religion and science have a complex relationship that varies across cultures, people and religious traditions. The conflicts and tensions are caused by the differing epistemological perspectives and areas of emphasis, but they can also be elevated via communication, comprehension and acknowledgement of the various ways that people and societies interpret and integrate these two systems of knowing. Scottish empiricist the philosopher David Hume is renowned for his analysis of religious convictions. In his writings, Hume exhibited skepticism towards religious claims and contended that religious beliefs were based on subjective experiences, emotive sensibility and irrational thought processes in his influential work dialogues concerning natural religion. According to Hume and his contemporaries, religion has its roots in simple mental structures. They contended that in order to make sense of natural occurrences, human existence and moral percepts, early human cultures turned to religious explanations since they lacked scientific knowledge and logical understanding. This viewpoint saw religion as the result of human ignorance and a way to answer existential issues. The theories advanced by Hume and his contemporaries served as the basis for the growth of secularization theory. According to the secularization theory, religious institutions and beliefs would ultimately lose influence as cultures become more advanced and logical. This notion has influenced historical and sociological studies of how religion and modernity interact. It is crucial to remember that contrary to that Hume and other enlightenment intellectuals predicted, religion has not ex experienced its inevitable fall or final destruction. Even in the face of industrialization and scientific advancement, religion remains a powerful force in many communities worldwide. To dwell deeper into the debate between religion and science, let us break it down into a few objectives and learn that individually each of them. Science versus religion through ages will be our first objective, followed by early interactions and conflicts to modern situations in India, evolution and creationism, 
cosmology and the origins of universe, contemporary perspectives, ethics and bioethics, this will be covered in terms of religion and science. Now we can see science versus religion through the ages. Much of the discussions of today also seem to be based on the premise that science and religion are in opposition to one another. When we discuss it through ages, it can be easy to trace the happening. Levinson discussed this in his work on science versus religion, a false dichotomy which was published in 2006 regarding the same and with his reference we can discuss it as follows. To start with, in the 4th and 5th century AD, science versus religion was viewed on the basis of faith and reason from the views of St. Augustine that in terms of the pursuit of religion versus the pursuit of science or philosophy, religion is primacy but scientific knowledge is an important handmaiden that assists true religion and affirmation of the principles of exegesis. Thus, religion represents faith and science symbolizes reason. Followed by that thought process in the 17th century, the relationship between science and religion was viewed as the Galileo affair. The Galileo affair is an often cited in the history of science religion interaction. It is highly complex and brings up many important philosophical, scientific and other issues that can best be understood in context. The debate between science and religion, the already existing knowledge started when Copernicus published his work De Revolutioni Bu Bushobium Co Elastium, which put forth heliocentric theory where the sun was at the center of the universe was disseminated, which is over the idea of geokineticism that earth revolved around the sun, which was in contrary with the prevailing Ptolemaic Aristotelian system. This proposition was least accepted during that period. In 1613, Galileo defended the geokineticism, arguing that the scripture had to be interpreted in the line of scientific knowledge, but he did not have proof of the earth's movement. Later in 1632 to 1633, Galileo published a book titled A Dialogue on Two Chief World Systems. The two systems that he referred to were debated between the Ptolemaic idea and the Copernicus idea related to the system, solar system. For these work, Galileo was sent to an inquisition trial and convicted in June 1633 for his arguments about Pope Urban VII and spent the rest of his life under house arrest. Following the Galileo affair in the 18th century, science and religion had the contrary of geology and biblical chronology. In the 18th century, new naturalistic theories for the origin of earth were proposed which progressively increased the age of the earth particularly the pre-human period. These theories were both for and against the reliability of biblical narratives. Theological division over how old the earth was revealed a split between elite and popular opinion. This theological division belies the simplistic notion that there is a single religious response to scientific theories. In the 19th century, the idea of evolution was proposed. In 1859, Charles Darwin published his Epochal on the Origin of Species and later he published The Descent of Men, where the scientific and theological responses were complex. The complexity was associated with the important features of Darwin's evolutionary principles that is having common ancestry, speci speciation through variation and natural selection which had impacted on the theological ideas which was prevailed during that period. 
there were varied responses from different theologians where there was reception as well as rejection for the idea of Darwin. These different responses and reworkings of Darwinian theory by theologians argue against facial generalization concerning the interaction between evolution and Christian thought. Followed by this in the 20th century, fundamentalism forms the base of the debate of science versus religion. The rise of fundamentalism in the early 20th century changed the situation from the idea of geology and chronology and also with evolution. Fundamentalism is both a social as well as a religious movement that represents the aggregate of beliefs as a reaction of response to the social anxiety over the loss of an old order and fear of perceived force. The force or the enemies they considered were cult urban cultures, modernity, intellectuals, industrialization and immigration, the role of media in reporting religious views and the emergence of creation science as the alternative to evolution happened during this period. Next, they had scientism, a philosophy that excels the view of science and scientific inquiry to an absolutely predominant position capable of solving, explaining and or passing judgment on everything was also advocated. Then comes the Big Bang model of the Earth's creation was proposed in 1927 by Lemaitre, which offers evidence that science and theological views can peacefully coexist. Even in contemporary society, that theologians and scientists exist in a separate camps is a relatively recent division. But both religion and science have traveled in terms of professionalization, authority and status in different direction on its own way. More often than not, there has been a flow of ideas between theological and scientific thought. This truth is highlighted in historical context which enable us to engage in potentially beneficial dialogue concerning science and religion on more serious and fruitful level. Science has furnished theology with a more verifiable sense of man's place in the world. On the other hand, religion has provided the institutional support for the research and studies and many of the founders of modern science were devout to relig and religious believers. For example, Kepler, Copernicus, Galileo, Newton and Boyle are some of the scientists who rely on religion for in their life. This debate can be dealt with in the following part of the session where we will be having a detailed discussion on Darwin's evolution and shortly we discuss the Big Bang theory and developments in the light of religion. To start with we can see the early interactions and conflicts to modern situations in Indian context. Religious practices and beliefs were closely entwined with knowledge of the natural world in ancient civilizations. Early explanations for natural occurrences and cosmologies were frequently based on religious rituals and mythologies. Greek philosophers and thinkers like Aristotle and Plato investigated metaphysical and philosophical concepts that served as the foundation of for later scientific investigation. Let us first examine the connections, disputes and tensions between religion and science in India, one of the world's oldest civilizations. In India's early contact between religion and science, a rich and complicated relationship was present. Religious and scientific traditions have coexisted and impacted one another frequently throughout India's lengthy history. There are numerous references to scientific ideas and findings in Indian religious books like Vedas, Upanishads and Puranas. Such subjects as astronomy, mathematics, medicine and natural occurrences are covered in these writings. 
Ayurveda, an old medical system, involves an in-depth understanding of the human body and therapeutic herbs, whereas Vedanga Jyotishta is an ancient Indian treatise that deals with astronomy and mathematics. Geometric, mathematical and engineering concepts were frequently used in the construction of temples in ancient India. Exact dimensions and geometric patterns were used in the construction of elaborate structures. Temples were also constructed in accordance with astronomical events demonstrating the link between religious convictions and scientific knowledge. There is a long tradition of inquiry into the nature of reality, consciousness and the self in Indian philosophy. Though philosophy and religion in India frequently overlap, it also includes logical analysis and critical reasoning. Schools of thought like Nyaya and Vaisheksika created logical approaches and discussions to probe knowledge and reality. It is significant to highlight that there were occasional disputes and tensions in the relationships between religion and science in ancient India. There were arguments and debates over the differing perspectives held by various philosophical and religious schools. Scientific dis discoveries have occasionally called into questions the legitim question the legitimacy of religious leaders and institutions assertions. For instance, empirical observations and practical applications have had a role in the development of early medical practices and knowledge systems such as Ayurveda. There were conflict between various medical and healing philosophies. As a result of this challenging the work of traditional religi religious healers and practices, some skeptics and supporters of logical thought have questioned religious practices and beliefs. Philosophers and intellectuals who opposed religious ideas and promoted a completely materialistic worldview conclude, included Charvaka, a materialistic school, and Ajita Kesa Hambli. Their skeptic viewpoints frequently ran counter to prevalent religious beliefs. Pseudo-scientific claims or assertion have been made by some gurus in India that are not backed by empirical data or scientific consensus in modern India. For instance, they may make assertion that defy accepted scientific theories concerning healing, supernatural capabilities or alternative explanations for natural phenomena. According to detractors, some gurus abuse followers faith and spiritual convictions for their own gain. This may entail deceit, deception or inducing dependence on their ideologies or organizations. Such uh, actions depart from the moral obligations inherent in the logical and scientific investigation. Both religion and science have been subject to exploitation in course of history. It is important to note that not all religious or spiritual leaders in India are con connected to skepticism or dubious custom. In India, where religious leaders frequently promote scientific progress and logical thought, there is a long history of spiritual traditions that coexist with scientific endeavors. As a result of the flexibility, reinterpretation and integration with scientific knowledge that many religious and philosophical traditions in India have allowed religion and science frequently coexist together. Now we can see the next part of the se session that is evolution and creationism. It has been a long running complicated disagreement between the proponents of the theory of evolution and those who have religious views about the beginnings of life. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection and its alleged challenges to religious creationists beliefs are at the heart of this argument. The continuous argument between evolution and religious conceptions of the beginnings of life 
has been greatly influenced by Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution through natural selection. Darwin's groundbreaking research offered a rationale for the variety of species and the evolution of life on earth in his book on the origin of species which was published in the year 1859. Darwin proposed that species change gradually over time due to natural selection with features that are advantageous for survival and reproduction being passed on to succeeding generations. The theory of evolution challenged the old religious creationist view which maintained that a divine being directly created life. Certain theological interpretations were seen to be reconcilable with the notion that species evolved via natural processes as opposed to, to supernatural intervention. As a result, disagreements existed between those who supported evolution and those who upheld a literal interpretation of religious teachings. The discussion centered on topics including the age of the earth, how humans came to be and whether or not a divine creator exists. Within religious communities, there have been many different reactions to this tension. Some people and religious organizations disagree entirely with the theory of evolution and support creationism or its contemporary irritation intelligent design. According to creationism, scientific data should be evaluated in light of the religious writings, descriptions of how organisms came to be in their current forms. Others have attempted to make their religious beliefs and evolutionary theory compatible. For instance, theist evolution hold that a divine creator used evolution as a tool to create life's diversity. It asserts that religious doctrines and the course of evolution are not intrinsically at odds but relatively supportive of one another. It is crucial to understand that many different religious traditions and scientific communities are participating in the continuing discussion about evolution and religious beliefs. The participants in the debates come from various theological backgrounds including Christianity, Islam, Judaism and others and have different levels of scientific knowledge and religious favor. While disagreements and hostility still exist, many religious groups and academics have developed ways to incorporate evolutionary theory into their theoretical frameworks. They uphold their religious convictions while appreciating the usefulness of science and accepting the overwhelming evidence for evolution. One of the noteworthy individuals who tried to bring Christianity and evolution together was Pierre Teilhard de Cardin. Teilhard de Cardin was a Jesuit priest, philontologist and philosopher who created a framework for fusing knowledge of science and religion mainly through the idea of Omega Point. Because of his firm Christian conviction, Teilhard de Cardin was able to reconcile the theory of evolution with Christian doctrine. According to him, God was the impetus behind evolution directing and shaping life's progression towards the omega point. He suggested that the evolution of the universe and the final convergence of all creation were fundamentally influenced by Jesus Christ who is the personification of divine love. Although some people find his views fascinating, there have been conflicting responses. Some religious community members accepted his viewpoint as a method to integrate new scientific findings with their beliefs and valued how evolution and spirituality could coexist. Others, however, criticized his theories for undermining the notion of creation and conventional theological interpretations. 
it is crucial to remember that religious communities did not always share Teilhard de Cardin's idea and throughout his lifetime and ecclesiastical authorities scrutinized his publications. His thoughts have shaped the religious debate and inspired discussions on the subject of the relationship between science and spirituality, highlighting the possibilities for evolution and faith to coexist. Now we can move on to the next part of our presentation that is cosmology and origin of the universe. Cosmology, the study of the universe beginnings and structure has drawn interest for both science and religion. There has been much discussion on the discrepancies and potential areas of agreement between religious explanations for the universe beginnings and scientific hypotheses such as the Big Bang theory. Scientific explanations for the origins and the evolution of the universe such as the Big Bang theory are based on factual data and rigorous scientific investigation. These theories draw on observations, mathematical models and experimental evidence to comprehend the underlying mechanism govern the cosmos. Contrarily, religious explanations frequently use revelation, faith and holy books to explain the universe beginnings. They might say that a heavenly being or a transcendent power created the universe emphasizing the importance of intention, purpose and spirituality in the cosmos. Conflicts occur when religious beliefs and scientific explanation use different approaches, methodologies and underlying prepositions, presuppositions. There may be disagreements over how to interpret sacred texts, the essence of creation and how to reconcile scientific data with religious ideas. The idea of non-overlapping magisteria that is NOMA, which contents that science and religion work in distinct spheres and address various facets of human existence is supposed to by some proponents. According to Noma, religion investigates issues of ultimate reality, whereas science works with empirical facts and natural phenomena. Conflicts can be minimized or entirely avoided by understanding the distinct roles that science and religion play. Georges Lemaitre and Stephen Hawking, two influential figures in the fields of cosmology and physics have contributed significantly to the ongoing debate surrounding the reconciliation of scientific theories and religious explanations for the origins of the universe. Georges Lemaitre and a Catholic priest from Belgium was a physicist is known for proposing the Big Bang theory in the 1920s. Lemaitre's theory supported by observational evidence and mathematical calculations suggested that the universe began from a singular extremely dense hot state expanding and evolving over time. Lemaitre's work aligned with certain religious conceptions of creation event as it implied a definite starting point for the universe. However, Lemaitre cautioned against conflicting his scientific theory with specific religious interpretations, emphasizing the importance of maintaining a distinction between science and religion. Stephen Hawking, a renowned theoretical physicist, significantly contributed to, to our understanding of the universe origin through scientific principles. Hawkins research dwelled into areas such as a black holes, quantum mechanics and the application of general relativity to cosmology. In his explorations, Hawkins emphasized the role of natural laws and physical processes in explaining the universe development. His work did not directly address religious explanation, but instead focused on scientific explanations derived from observable phenomena and theoretical frameworks. Both Lamatre and Hawking played vital roles in advancing scientific understanding of the origin, origins of the universe 
and their contributions have shaped the ongoing debate regarding the compatibility of scientific theories and religious beliefs. While Lemaitre's theory provided a scientific framework that resonated with certain religious conceptions of creation, Hawkins' work focused on developing scientific explanations independent of religious considerations. The diverse perspectives held by scientists, theologians and believers in the ongoing debate can range from perceiving science and religion as fundamentally in incompatible to seeking harmony and synthesis between the two. Some individuals and religious communities find ways to integrate scientific knowledge including cosmological theories like Big Bang within their theological frameworks. They view scientific discoveries as a deepening their understanding of their natural world while still embracing their religious beliefs. Others may interpret religious texts metaphorically allowing for greater compatibility with scientific theories. While Significant in their respective fields, it is essential to note that the views of Lemaitre and Hawking represent individual perspectives and should not be seen as a universally representative of all scientists or religious thinkers. The ongoing debate continues to evolve as new scientific discoveries emerge and religious interpretations adopt to the changing understanding of the universe. This dialogue encompasses a spectrum of views reflecting different approaches to understanding the cosmos and the interplay between science and religion. Now we can see the contemporary perspectives taking into consideration the ethics and bioethics into for our discussion. There has been much discussion on how science and religion interact in the area of ethics particularly in relation to sensitive topics like abortion stem cell research and genetic engineering. These situations, ethical implications frequently include intricate moral, philosophical and theological stance. Balancing the right to life with other moral factors such as bodily autonomy and the welfare of the pregnant person is a common theme in the abortion debate. These talks are influenced by both scientific knowledge and religious convictions with varying opinions on the mor morality of abortion. Similar arguments can be made when discussing the related subjects of stem cell research and genetic engineering. The current state of the debate on ethics at the inter intersection of science and religion remains diverse and complex. While scientific advancements have provided new possibilities and challenges, religious perspectives continue to shape moral frameworks and guide ethical deliberations. The debate involving ongoing discussions involving scientists, religious scholars, policy makers, ethicists and the general public. Let us take the points of view of two scholars for example, Albert Schweitzer, a theologian and medical machinery emphasized the ethical obligation of humanity to all living things. He promoted respect for all forms of life and an understanding of the interconnection of all living things. According to him, moral considerations should include the welfare of animals and the environment in addition to human needs. Bioethics and academic Leon Kass investigated the moral implications of contemporary biotechnology. His writings discussed the potential tensions between religious principles and scientific achievements. In the face of technological advancement, Kass emphasized the value of wisdom, humility and the per preservation of human dignity. In the area of ethics, where science and religion interact, Important problems are raised and continuing discussions are sparked. Prominent thinkers like Albert Schweitzer and Leon Kass have made significant contributions that have provided insights into moral obligations, the value of life and the coexistence of religious ideals and scientific progress. The debates 
current state demonstrates the variety of viewpoints and continual discussion aimed at negotiating these difficult ethical dilemmas. We are in the last part of our discussion that is the summary. To sum up, the debate between religion and science encompasses various topics such as the origin of life, cosmology and ethics. Conflicts arise from the differing methodologies and explanations employed by religion and science. Early interactions between religion and science in the ancient civilization reveal both cooperation and conflict as religious beliefs influenced scientific inquiries as we have been in the earlier models. At the beginning of today's discussion, we conversed about how scientific knowledge evolved and its relationship with religion in a chronological manner starting from the 4th century to the recent time covering faith and reasoning to the direction of professionalization, authority and status. In this part of delibera deliberation, we also see how religion and sub science support each other and have a bearing on other. In the next part of the presentation, we see that in contemporary India, conflicts can arise between science and religion in the context of influential spiritual leaders. We discussed how there is a delicate balance between the two in such contexts. The theory of evolution proposed by Charles Darwin challenges religious creationists belief, beliefs about life's origins, but many religious denominations accommodate evolution within their theological frameworks. The universe's origin also present conflicts and potential reconciliations between scientific theories like Big Bang and the religious explanations. Georges Lemaitre's and Catholic priest and physicist proposed the Big Bang theory aligning with certain religious conceptions of creation. At the same time, Stephen Hawking explored the universe's origin through scientific principles emphasizing natural laws. Ethical conflicts between science and religion emerge in discussions about controversial topics like abortion, stem cell research and genetic engineering. Prominent thinkers such as Albert Schweitzer and Leon Kass provide perspectives on ethical responsibilities, reverence for life and the interplay between scientific advancements and religious values. The ongoing debate reflects the complex, re complex relationship between religion and science with diverse perspectives and ongoing dialogue seeking to find common ground while respecting the unique domains of each disciplines, discipline and giving us more space to ideate on how this debate could further be researched into and developed. Thank you.